Hello, I am Orange Cat, and this is my re quick review of South Park Season 22, Episode 5, entitled The Scoots. In short, I really love this episode. I'll start with some of the stuff I really liked. I really like the whole concept, how they played a lot of homage to the Alfred Hitchcock film The Birds, from I believe the early 60s. Just the concept of, oh, the scooters are going at- scooters are randomly appearing everywhere, they're looking really ominous. They're just sitting there doing nothing, which really builds up the tension. And also just the whole concept of, you know, the kids being kids, like, the kids just, like, wanting more trick-or-treat. They want more candy. So all kids, independent of each other, came up with this plan that, oh, we're going to use the e-scooters in order to go for more and more houses to get more candy. And also, like, the argument, the mass argument that ensued in the cafeteria when everyone assumed that everyone else stole the idea from them about their plan to take the e-scooters to get the candy. And also, just like the whole Kenny's plight, like, he's the poorest kid in town, his family can't afford to get him a cell phone, so he can't activist the, activi activate the e-scooters for himself, and his isolation from the rest of the town, from all the kids in town, because they can do that. And it's just the type of thing, because Kenny, in a way, is more different from the... They're the he's like the most separate of the four main friends. Like you can argue Cartman all you want because he's a bigot, he's a fat ass, and he himself pushes himself away by his behavior. We have Kenny, who's just like he's poor, his family doesn't spend money, he lives in the bad part of town, and you have this kid that really wants to be with the other kids, really wants to fit in, but at times because of his economic situation, he can't. Like an up, like you also saw it in the city part of town episode where he had to take a job with the Chinese restaurant in town as child labor in order to get money for his sister. Like, those types of episodes. And I think this episode struck a similar chord with Kenny's plight. And also, I just really... There's not... There's just a lot to love about this episode. How they kind of tied in with the Hegarty Farms again, just to say, hey, the e-scooters are even coming out here. So nowhere safe. It's not just like a city suburb thing anymore. <clears throat> and also just how everything was like the birds, how the birds caused destruction. And also the ominous ending where, oh, the scooters maybe not were necessarily defeated. <laughs> and in whole, I thought this was just an amazing addition. I think this is an episode, I'm not going to say it's a classic, amazing episode, but I'm going to say... It's something, if you want to watch South Park Halloween episodes, I consider this a very solid addition and a must-watch, alongside something like Spooky Fish or Pink Eye, somewhere in that realm. Uh, for the bad stuff in this episode, all I can complain about is really maybe the animation during the trick-or-treat scenes with the scooters going by, how it's just simply the same shot just pushed across the screen for all these people, and also the heavy use of the same character model and multiple cuts. But that's something you have to really slow down or have a very, very sharp eye to notice. It's something if you're just watching it for fun, you're not going to notice. That's just me noticing all the small particular things episode. And plus, you can't really blame South Park. I mean, they make these episodes in less than a week. You're going to have to take small shortcuts like that here and there. And it's just one of those things with the format of the show, how it stays topical. And another fun fact, I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I believe, that these e-scooters are nicknamed birds, too. So that really plays in with the Alfred Hitchcock reference, which, again, I really, really loved. Just the ambience of the episode. Really felt like a Halloween episode. It wasn't like, oh, it's an episode, let's just throw some Halloween stuff in there. I mean, this is an episode I think we'll be talking about after the season two. So far, I think it's been the best episode of this season. I give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Very solid addition. What do you think? Please leave a comment below. Let me hear your thoughts. If you like this content, if you want to hear more content like this, please subscribe. And I am Orange Cat, and that is all.